The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Today we are going to be interviewing on Skype Ken Nolan. He is a flautist who performs Native American music and he is also a great friend of ours. He is releasing a new CD of his Native American instrumental music. So we'll be with you in a moment and we'll introduce you again to Ken Nolan. Well, Ken Nolan. Patty, Patty, Patty. Welcome to my show, Patty's Page. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm so happy to be with you. Hi. It's wonderful. Oh, you yeah. Are we miss you, man. I miss seeing you guys, too. Well, it's good to see you on on Messenger, uh, on Facebook. Um, <clears throat> today is a special day. I wonder what it is. Oh, well, I don't know. Hmm. Could be... No, it couldn't be that. Maybe. How about the CDs finally came in on the, my project? So you have a... Are you going to have a release party? Uh, yeah, I will in uh, March. You coming Which here? Which a little nicer. Oh, yeah. How about coming here to do the face, uh, the uh, release? Do I do one here in Fort Wayne anyways? And do something there and then uh, have a big one in Indy. So what's it called, this new CD? Searching. Oh, yeah? It's, yeah. It's uh, basically... Uh, uh, revolve around uh, my wife's son's life and uh, his uh, problems dealing with uh, mental illness and uh, alcoholism and the uh, between those that searching for uh, to find peace and uh, find a way of life uh, through uh, through it and then the uh, effects of the, that it had upon her and uh, so there's some songs about uh, Sandy and uh, her relationship there as well. And uh, then, uh, as you know, we got we got a little situation going on, and then there's a, a, a song about uh, I have about uh, Sandy and I. How is she? She's doing so so, not too bad. She just has to really limit herself with, at things at a time. Can't do large, large uh, scale projects. She has to do little bitty ones spaced out. Can you give her our love? I sure do every time. She appreciates it. So, it's past Christmas. It's past Boxing Day in Canada. The day after. So, Show me the CD's cover. I like to see it. No, that's too close. Too close. Go back. That's it. Wow. Who took the picture? My uh, daughter-in-law when I was in uh, uh, Oregon visiting uh, my son and her. That's in, lovely. Uh, we were Seaside, Oregon. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I took several pictures of them, and uh, she said, Pops, get over there and let me get a picture of you. Wow, that's, that's good. 
So I'm going to get one of those. Wow. There's the, yeah. The flute. Flutes. Very, very, very well done, the gentleman that uh, did my project. He's the, uh, at the Playground Production Studios mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in, in Adam Rivera. He's the gentleman that uh, recorded, mastered, mixed, and uh, got all the artwork uh, together that I give him. Got it in the proper uh, venue uh, for uh, printing and, uh, and all. So it's, uh, <clears throat> it's been an interesting project. It's been a year's journey, a little over a year. Wow. Yeah. Your mentor. It, uh, it was my first time uh, I did uh, some steel work. I did those things for a couple of hours, and I learned that you can blow your time real quick. <laughs> you know, you really, and I went in this time uh, really focused and uh, ahead of time, and I said to myself, my dad was cheap, and I'm going to be cheap, too. So uh, I made my time uh, work, and uh, we did 13 tracks in just around 70-odd minutes. Wow, that's not bad. That's good. Yeah, I was, I was one shot in Elvis, so I'll tell you. <laughs> Where, which studio did you play, did you uh, record, mix? It uh, was done at play, Playground Productions in uh, Indianapolis in the Irvington uh, community and he has a recording studio and a uh, uh, musician's uh, practice studio that's there as well. So it's, uh, there's uh, three different studios set up and I, I did, uh, I used the isolation booth mm. and it's the uh, one that I did my recording in. So you have 13 songs. I'm an instrumental. Is there any singing? Thank goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too. All, all, all instrumental. And this is all your creation? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I uh, composed them all. That's good. You're very excellent, my friend. Oh, well, thank you. Bravo, maestro. I've had a lot of encouragement from quite a few friends. In uh, uh, Michael Calvin. Yeah. He's been, been a real encourager. But, uh, I know you know Michael. Yeah. And then uh, I have uh, several other people that's really encouraged me over this last year. And... Uh, Especially my sweetie, uh, she was, she's really uh, supportive in all this. And uh, I dedicated the uh, project to her and for her uh, support and, uh, over this uh, year and, uh, uh, and all. And then uh, also uh, recognized uh, her son, uh, uh, William Sloan, Billy. Uh, it's an inspiration for most of the pieces that were done. I hear you. So, um, name some of the songs. Some of the songs. Well, instrumental. <laughs> Put my uh, glasses on. Glasses on here. Of course, we got searching. That's uh, our title in the uh, title track. We got. Uh, Hear my prayer. Mm. Searching, call of the night. Connecting with the ancestors. Mm. Happy. The branch flute. I have the peculiar flute I play. I just call it a branch. Call it a branch flute, so people know what it was. Uh, Crow top, and that's a uh, song about the of uh, his grave and uh, how uh, crows were involved in uh, a mother's prayer and uh, because of the one I love Moonshine Creek that's probably one Bob would like and uh, a friend of mine down southern Indiana gave me a uh, 
uh, a sound uh, track of uh, Moonshine Creek. Wow. So, uh, I used uh, used that soundtrack and I uh, just left it as Moonshine to uh, uh, re- remember and respect my friend. Uh, please, please don't take her away. Call for peace. And of course, at the end of every horrible thing that we go through, there's always a silver lining at the end of the tunnel. So uh, we finish with a silver lining, something a little more positive. That's good. It's like a story, walking through the story. Yes, it is. It's, uh, we're, we start in one spot and we uh, travel through... Uh, through the life of uh, somebody uh, vicariously, mm-hmm. and uh, we uh, finished on a, on a positive note, even though he didn't have a positive ending. Well, but, uh, so yeah. people know that there is a positive, that it's not as gloomy and bleak and, and horrible as it may seem, that there is hope and there's uh, something ahead that's better than what, where you're at. Well, you know, he's with the Creator. Yes, ma'am. That's true. When did you start playing the flute? We did this in another in, uh, interview, but for those who are just tuning in, meeting up with you, when did you start? Uh, when did I start? Uh, 2000. Ten middle middle of two thousand and ten, like June July. Wow! I started playing the flute. Who was your mentor? And, uh, who's my mentor? Oh, she uh, has to be uh, probably. Uh, I'd have to say uh, uh, Doug uh, Thunderhorse. Hmm. Flutes, uh, uh, he got he got me into my first flute. The, uh, it's a long story of how I, I got to it, but uh, shorten it up for our time's sake. I was at a, a blues gathering, a, a group I was, and a fellow showed up, and nobody knew who he was. Mm-hmm. On uh, late Friday night, and then Saturday morning we were playing, and he comes in, plays up till we were taking our morning break, and then he pulls out a flute and starts playing. At that point, I'm walking across the floor. My feet froze to the floor. Wow. And I just, I couldn't move. And he played again. And then when he stopped, I, we talked. And then uh, my friend Joe Horn uh, said, Hey, there's a guy in Greensburg, makes flutes. Well, I'll check him out. I figured he's going to follow it up, and he never did. So I got a hold of Doug, we corresponded, and he said he'd like to talk to me, and went there, and uh, consequently, uh, I uh, picked the flute up, and uh, he told me what one I should learn on, and uh, my life's not been the same since. Good, I hope. Very good. You're excellent in your playing. I've been hearing it. Beautiful. You relax people with your... I, I try to do what I can. You do a real, real good job, and I'm so happy for you. Uh, how many flutes do you have now? Ooh, um, something like 20. And the flute? I guess it's a couple I had. Oh, yeah. The, the original flute, do you have it with you still? The what flute? The, the original flute that you had seven years ago when you started. Do you oh yeah, that, that, that'll never leave. I have a group of flutes that uh, it will never leave, leave till I uh, uh, cross over. Well, that'll be a long time for sure, eh? That's what I'm planning on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the branch. Do you have the branch uh, flute with you now? I uh, know it's in the other room. Oh, well, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, so you have 20 flutes. They're all yeah. different. Yeah, they're all different. Bass? Yeah. 
get uh, different uh, uh, pitches. Yeah, yeah. They're all with different keys. Uh, you got some of this low pitch and some of this high pitch and mm. in between. So in a gig that you do, a show, you go through how many, uh, normally how many flutes? Depends how long I have. Some place uh, I'll play maybe eight to ten. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. You, you can continually play one flute at a wet out mm. and you won't be able to play it. Yeah. So, um, on your new CD, Search. Searching or search? Uh, searching. Searching. On your new CD, searching. searching. What is your favorite of all the ones that you have done? Are they all your favorites? Oh, it's like your children. You love them all. <laughs> uh, I, I say uh, the uh, couple of the, the calling of the night mm -hmm. uh, that was, that uh, was uh, quite uh, uh, touching for me um, in uh, Crow Talk it was uh, pretty emotional and then I got to uh, you know I'm, I'm on a roll here but mm -hmm. it's uh, most of them have, uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm, I'm connected because I really put a bunch of time into construction instead of just random playing and, uh, without a story mm. and, uh, developed the story. So it, each one's kind of took some time to develop. So there's a part in there that you kind of feel special about, mm. but, uh, yeah, um, uh, but uh, the uh, call of the night is uh, was uh, when I uh, originally uh, uh, come up and uh, down in uh, Arkansas, down to huh. uh, Eureka Springs, mm. and uh, I was down for the uh, CD release party down there with uh, John Two Hawks. Mm. And, was hanging out in the foothills of the mountain, and uh, I go out and I start playing, and I just it was just a really great spot. So uh, that that song come out of being there, uh, and I, I uh, the uh, mother's prayer was really uh, uh, touching. He's like. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, really touching. Yeah. So what? So, what song are you are playing for us today? Uh, oh, oh, I got to the blue button. I the matches to the song. What is your? Let's go. Uh, Hold the night. Hold the night. Uh, yeah, that's. I have that flute with me. Uh, I don't have any of the the sound uh, backing. Yeah, I don't have this totally memorized, so it. It's okay. The record, record may sound a little different, so I've got like three months to memorize everything. Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Excuse me. What's in My it? Boyd. The void. The void. The void.
that excellent. Thank you, man. Beautiful. Send you the $20 from the money order a check. <laughs> <laughs> we are so blessed to know you. We are so blessed. It's been a blessing to get to know you guys. I know. <laughs> hmm. What about the last, the last, oh, uh, yeah, uh, oh, that's searching. We're seeing glare. There it is. Okay, that's wonderful. So we're going to order one. Toot sweet from you. Uh, I am, they're going to be available two ways off of my uh, social media Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, Ken Nolan Native American Flute, in which uh, if you order them there, you can get uh, the CD for $10 and $5 uh, shipping. And I will, uh, if you want, I'll autograph them and title them. Put a, little uh, thing if you want anything in the CD. Otherwise, they'll be on Bandcamp by Saturday. Mm -hmm. Upload it to them. And you can uh, do uh, downloads uh, from Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. but, if you want, but if you want a hard copy, then uh, order them uh, from uh, my uh, Facebook page. Yeah, I think the hard copy is more uh, something more uh, closer to you to have yeah, something it, physically. It sounds a little better. Uh, my, my thinking, you know, the uh, digital download sounds okay, but there's it misses a little bit, and I think it's all due to the fact that the compressions and everything they have to do. And also with a, a, a real physical copy, it's something for you to keep. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's plugging something, aren't they? <laughs> the last song. Well, like shameless. <laughs> you shameless, shame, 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 shame. Uh, <laughs> the last song. Do you have the flute for that one, or just the one that you got? Well, I just brought one in, and uh, uh, I'm gonna have a friend that just passed away. Oh. And she was uh, an encourager. Uh, she was a mentor, teacher to me. And uh, uh, I'll play this song for her. Our condolences and our may the Creator be with her always. Oh yeah, she was uh, quite a lady to the to the native community. She was quite an ambassador. Yeah, so we'll just call this Teresa's song. Okay. Our condolences and we love you. Love you guys too. We are going to say uh, 
Adieu. Thank you so much, Ken Nolan, for coming and searching on your Facebook, your face, Native American food. So, God bless you. May the Creator be with you always. God bless you all. We so appreciate you. Bye. And all the, everybody out there that takes time to look at this, we, we thank you. Grandfather, hear my prayer. <laughs>